and spell it. Nicholas Phipps Evans, N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S, P-H-I-P-P-S hyphen E-V-A-N-S. For a little background, tell me briefly about yourself and how long have you lived in the Hillcrest community and let us know how old you are as well. Well, I'm 17 years old and I first moved to Hillcrest in about the sixth grade and originally my mom is from Trinidad and Tobago. I lived in Trinidad for about five years from three to eight and moved to the States to Washington DC where I lived in Northwest until about the sixth grade, which is when I moved to Hillcrest. This oral history project is a continuation of the 20th anniversary celebration of the Hillcrest Community Civic Association. In thinking about this neighborhood, Hillcrest, will you define it as a strong DC neighborhood? Tell me why and explain what do you think is a strong DC neighborhood? I do believe that this is a strong DC neighborhood. My ideal strong DC neighborhood is one with a lot of communion between the neighborhoods, neighbors that live in it. You know, when people know each other and when people can connect with each other, then it's much better off because when things happen, such as violence or outside influences come and try to mess up a neighborhood, then everyone who knows each other can contact each other and give them fear warning. But if there's no type of communication at all and nobody knows anyone, then there's no sort of protection, I guess, to the neighborhood. What is your opinion of the Hillcrest Community Civic Association and its role in creating a strong DC neighborhood? The association is the meetings that we have on Saturdays and I know you've attended a few, not a lot, but I knew that you attended a couple of them. Do you think the association has been able to engage the residents to encourage involvement and participation and do you think it has sufficiently engaged residents in the other parts of the city? Well I feel like the association is definitely a great idea and it's definitely a great start to having a strong neighborhood. Now the meetings if you can get people to go to them are very ideal you know you have everyone there that's first of all a great way to get people to meet one another which is what I said earlier was in a strong DC neighborhood and also you talk about the certain aspects of the neighborhood, you talk about the controversies that may be going on and any outside influences that may be coming in. So the meetings are definitely a great help to creating a strong DC neighborhood. So how effectively has the Hillcrest Community Civic Association worked with the Hillcrest Community and by extension the rest of Ward 7 to garner goodwill, promote neighborliness and maintain a wholesome community? And how effective has the various forms of communication been? Or do you think there may be room for improvement? Well, there's always room for improvement. I mean, nothing is ever perfect, but I feel like it's definitely going down the right path um, as far as communication, as far as making sure that everyone is safe and you know sound in their homes. And to what extent do you see Hillcrest and the Hillcrest neighborhood as extensions of each other? In other words, how effective would one have been without the other in creating this strong DC neighborhood? Do you view them, Hillcrest and HCCA, as separate entities, or are they one and the same to you? When one does well, does it naturally bring along the next, or does success occur individually? Well, I wouldn't go as far as to say when one does well, then, or when one fails, then it brings the other one down, but I feel like they do go hand in hand because the meetings or the ACCA is meant to promote Hillcrest as a whole. So obviously when the ACCA does well, then Hillcrest does well. And it just, you know, sort of folds together. Okay. The community itself is known for its civic mindedness, neighborliness, caring and respect for the beauty of the environment. Is this something that you agree with? If so, why? And are there any other adjectives that you will use to describe Hillcrest? Can you repeat the first part of that? Sure. The neighborhood is known for its civic mindedness, its neighborliness, caring and respect for the beauty of the environment. Is that something you agree with? If so, why? And are there any other adjectives you like to describe Hillcrest? Well, I do agree with that. You know, the garden tours are definitely um, a big thing in um, 
promoting the beauty of Hillcrest, I guess. And as I said, everyone who knows each other, they always, you know, drive around and it's always great to see, you know, familiar faces and to see some of the houses that you know, you know, you go by Miss Kathy and you see her, you know, doing her yard and always has a smile on her face and everything like that. So I definitely say um, friendly and beautiful are all great adjectives to describe Hillcrest and what they're stand for. Do you have any other examples? Um that would show the civic mindedness and neighborliness of the residents. I know you just mentioned Miss Kathy. I believe you're talking about Kathy Chamberlain. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Are there any other examples you might have? Yeah, definitely. Um, I got a painting from an artist. I can't recall his name, but he gave me this painting for free, even though he was trying to sell it after he found out that I was I'm interested in art. And I really liked his painting when I first saw it. I figured that was like the nicest thing anyone's ever done, especially since they put all their hard work into it. When did he give you the painting? When did you get that? A year ago. For what? What was the um, event all about? When did you When did you meet him to get the painting? Oh, it was a Palisades Palisades event. The neighbors through art. Right. Okay. That, the partnership between Hillcrest and Palisades. Right. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. That was nice of him. So since you first moved to this community um, wasn't a long time, it was six years ago. Do you see a continuation of the civic mindedness of the neighbors from when you first moved to now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, no one lost any type of connections with anyone and everyone is still friendly. You know, I'm always walking around and they're always like, hey, Nicholas, how's it going? And they always tell me how I'm getting so big and everything like that. So, you know, it's always nice to hear stuff like that. It keeps me going throughout the day. Based on the length of time you've lived in Hillcrest and based on your observations and interactions, what do you see as the three core elements that make for a strong DC neighborhood, for a strong neighborhood? And examples might include respect one resident has for each other in keeping their yards clean, being able to say hello, but what do you see as the three core elements? Definitely respect is probably number one for me because if you don't have respect for the people you live with, then it's sort of hard to build any foundation from that. And then honesty as well. Like if you see something happening, you have to tell people in the neighborhood, you can't just keep it to yourself because one, not, that only not makes it unsafe for you, but it also makes it unsafe for the people that may not know what's going on because the more people involved in crime in the community is definitely better for the community. And then I guess responsibility for keeping the neighborhood you know, safe and clean that falls in also with honesty. Um, you, know, you definitely want to be responsible for taking care of the area, making sure that you know it looks as nice as possible so when outsiders come into the neighborhood they can say, ooh, this is a nice neighborhood. This is not like what I expected, especially out of Southeast. It's not what I expected. You know, is there anything else you can think of that highlights Hillcrest as a strong DC neighborhood and anything that shows the HCCA in helping to facilitate that strike? Well, it's pretty much all been said before, you know, the honesty, the respect, the responsibility, and um, pretty much fighting to keep everything under control and under wraps.